Jesus, we take authority over every principality in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Greetings to everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. I greet you in this uh, time with in the name of the Lord. I would like to share with you about something each one of us has been asking since the time we held conscience. And the question is how? how this shall be, how we will reach there, how we will make our livelihood, how we will overcome this challenge. And this is a question each one of us asks through the day. And many times we might find an answer, but there are some hows of life that are seemingly impossible. I would like to take your attention to a story that is almost 2021 years back. Somebody asked a same question like that, like you have asked. Life is so real for all of us. You know, no matter where we live, in which part of the world we live, what is our livelihood, how, how, how our lifestyles are, what our culture is, it doesn't matter. But the question of how always haunts every one of us. I would like to introduce you to something that will change your life forever. Beloved, for your how answers, there is somebody who is able to answer that. I would like to turn your attention to a passage from Luke chapter 1, and it says like this, that this angel came to Mary, and this is what the angel said. And it, it so happened that, and the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the High. The Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end then said mary unto the angel watch this question how shall this be see i know not a man and this is how the angel answered and the angel answered and said unto her the holy ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Behold, thy cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. This is the sixth month with her who was called a parent. For with God nothing shall be impossible. If you can hear my voice, you just repeat after me, for with God nothing shall be possible. Beloved, there are questions in life that are impossible. Where the natural mind cannot get an answer. And you and I have been in that place. And we have to be honest with ourselves in this evening time that we do struggle with that. Pretty much we are always good to answer, I'm good when we are not really good. There is a lack, there is a vacuum that nothing in this world is able to fill us. Now that is not where I am going into, but where I am going into is that 
we are faced with some challenges that stand like wall that are like mountains they are like obstructions in our life and we wonder how we will cross there's a saying we say we'll, when, it, when the time comes we'll cross over the bridge yet when we say that we are saying with this in mind that there is an uncertainty that reigns because we do not know about tomorrow today is in our hands i mean today is also not in our hands i mean this moment that you are living in that can also be taken away we are all living in the mercies of god around 2021 years back somebody asked the same question she was nobody else but the biological mother of jesus she was the vessel through which our lord and savior jesus christ the son of god the very god himself came into this world to save sinners it was an impossible act because she did not know a man and how could jesus be born of a virgin and it's very difficult for me to even explain that because this is supernatural only god can but in my finite understanding what i see and i hear and i read from the bible i'm going to explain that to you that that which is impossible in your life there god steps in and god gives you this hope that no man can take and the angel said the power of the highest shall overshadow the word the power of the highest shall overshadow means the glory of god the glory of god is a realm that is where god does creative things where he creates things which are not i mean that's a realm where god does things that are impossible with mankind the coming of our savior into this world was a miracle and was what was the greatest miracle of all god coming in in flesh taking the human flesh why did he take that so that he could defeat enemy satan who is the enemy who was our enemy through dying on the cross and for that jesus took upon the human flesh and this was a prophecy that was spoken thousands of years back by god himself that jesus will come as the seed of the woman yet he was holy and he remained god even throughout that time an, an act that we cannot even imagine God coming down to earth to save us from our sins. The Bible says his name shall be called Jesus. He will save the people of their sins. He will forgive their sins for he is the one who can forgive. He came into this world a miraculous ha act happened in the womb of Mary. Mary could not wrap it under her in her mind because she could be stoned to death according to the laws of of the Jewish nation. Yet she trusted in God. There is a place in our life where it is impossible where we trust God and that is where faith is faith bridges us from the natural to the supernatural faith is where God meets us 
We have to trust him and we have to rely upon what he says. Before God accomplish anything, accomplishes anything in your life and my life, God speaks. Now it is up to us whether we receive it, whether we believe it. We can choose to deny that and we can choose to accept that. However, in this case we see Mary accepted, be it unto me. And she kept those things in her heart. It was difficult for her natural mind to comprehend that the Holy One, the very God who was from eternity. I mean, the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and by Him all things was created. The Creator God was going to take birth in her womb, just impossible i mean that is out of my mind for a moment think like this omnipotent god omniscient god omnipresent god now comes in the womb he humbles himself apostle paul says he humbled himself even to the death of cross Though he was equal with God, he did not consider himself robbery. The Bible says he is the very exact representation of God. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And that very Jesus came down into this world to save mankind. I'm talking about the God who has the hollows of the water in the hollows of all of his hands. For whom nations are nothing but white dust, or who, who sets one king up and brings one down. I am talking about that God. Oh, yes. Under whose feet all the powers and principalities, everything, every name that is named on this earth and in the ages to come is down under his feet. That Jesus came into this world. He took human form by taking birth. In the womb of this woman, Mary, this just impossible. Beloved, there is a realm that which is impossible for you and me. Are you willing to believe that God is able to do that for you? I know naturally there is no explanation. Logical reasonings or don't make, it doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense. I want you to, to take, I want you to invite you to take a journey to a realm where it doesn't make sense. That's the realm of the supernatural where God makes everything possible that is impossible with mankind. Do you believe that, that Jesus is able to do that in your life? He can set you free from your addictions. He can set you free from the problems of this life. Come to him. He is the answer of this world. Jesus is the answer of this world. He says all things are possible for them who believe. Jesus once said that the disciples said, who shall be saved? It is difficult because there was this religious people who came to him. And then Jesus said to them that it is difficult for a rich man to enter into God's kingdom, but it is easier for a camel to enter through the eye of a needle. And when disciples heard, they said, Oh, Master, oh Lord, who shall enter into God's kingdom? And Jesus said, With man it is impossible, with God all things are possible. I want to introduce to a God who makes all things possible. Is there anything too hard in your life? Come to Jesus. He says, all who are heavy laden, come to me. I will give you rest. Mary was also asking the same question 2021 years back. Oh, God had a way to answer it. The power of the highest shall overshadow thee. The glory of God shall come down upon thee. And the one that shall be born of you, you shall be called the son of the highest. The very God who dwelt in light where no man can approach. Who was there from eternity with the Father who is very God and equal with God. He came down. It's not a mere ordinary 
thing. I'm, I'm telling you, we have trivialized that. Many have trivialized that, but there is power in the name of Jesus. When you believe in him, your life will be changed forever. The whole host of heaven comes behind you when you call the name of Jesus. You might say that, but you're trying to churn up my emotion. No, I'm not. What would I get out of it? I am standing in a cold wintry night or oh, in an open sky and preaching this word. I can be in my own house under 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 the heat. Why should I be standing here? Because I know there's going to be a day of judgment when we all shall stand before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ. And Jesus will ask a question. Why should I let you in? If you have not placed your trust in Jesus Christ, you, know you are headed towards a lake of fire where the fire doesn't quench. Salvation is there in this planet or down on this earth. You cannot make things right up there. Uh, you cannot make things right once you have passed from this life to the other life. Today is the day of salvation. An impossible miracle can happen at this moment when you give your life to Jesus. Would you give your life to Jesus wherever you are? Say, Jesus, come into my heart. An impossible miracle happens. You know what is the greatest miracle that can happen to you now? When your mouth opens and confesses that Jesus is Lord and believes in your heart, you have embraced the greatest miracle. You are going to be God forever. Eternal miracle. I mean, it gets better and better every day. Mary got her answer too. Not just in words, but in reality. I mean, he spoke first. The angel brought the message. And Jesus was born of Mary. And he lived for 33 years. And he ministered to the people. He opened the eyes of the blind. He set the captives free. He healed the broken heart. He cleansed the lepers. He raised the dead. And in the end, the one who raised the dead himself laid down his life. The Bible says, Paul says, had the, had the people of that time known, had the rulers of that time known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Paul was also somebody who was so radical. He was out there persecuting the church. But when he found that experience with Jesus Christ, he says, I have nothing to boast but to boast in Jesus Christ. He says like this, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. Now the life that I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Now I don't boast in anything, but I boast in the cross of Jesus Christ. Beloved, an impossible miracle happened on the cross. Would you give your life to Jesus Christ? Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the, to the Father but by me. Your how questions will also be answered. Mary's was answered. That was just not possible. I mean, don't worry, come to him. However impossible it is, come to Jesus. He's able to answer that question of your life. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, these precious ones have heard the gospel. They have heard the story of Jesus coming into this world. They have many questions in their lives. But Lord, you said with you all things are possible. Would you please do this for them? Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. Forgive my sins. I repent of my sins. You died on the cross. You shed the last drop of blood. Through the shedding of your blood, there is forgiveness. I receive that. Get ready for this ride of miracles and impossible things being possible. If you are suffering with sickness, Jesus will turn your bed of sickness. God could be born in human flesh. What is your challenge? What is your problem? That's nothing. Come to Jesus. He has answers to all life's problems. Jesus, these ones have heard. And this is a witness that will stand on that day of judgment. 
This city has heard this word of God and this will stand as a witness on that. Lord, I've done what you told me to do. Oh, Master, have mercy on these people. Let them turn to you, the one and only Savior, the Lord God. Oh, Lord, thank you for this time. In your precious holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Lift up his crowns and give peace forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you.